typhoon is, you know, that's the, I think that's the worst typhoon I ever seen. I experienced those typhoons before when I was little back in Chuk and even in Saipan. That's it. The typhoon Sadros is more, uh, more dangerous than those typhoons before. My roof flew off and uh, part of my walls are soaked in water during the typhoon and rain. So most of the interiors are damaged as well. Yeah, when I came, I saw my house was destroyed already by typhoon Sadr. I was sad that I came and all my belongings were destroyed by and the money they gave me is, you know, not enough, but at least they, I have a little bit to cover what I lost. And the experience of being in Saipan after a typhoon Sotolor was devastating and difficult and uh, full of grief and a lot of suffering. Um, everybody on the island was impacted. The storm, the eye of the storm went right over the center of the entire island. There was no area of the island that was spared. And uh, people were very isolated from basic necessities like drinking water, food. Um, nobody on the island had power or water in, in most cases for many months. So life here was very difficult after Sotolor and it had a very devastating impact on the whole community. Right now I'm living under my sister-in-law's roof because my house is destroyed by Typhoon Sotolor. And thanks to care for helping, they're now building my house. Four feet, then that would leave six feet here, and you could easily put a door yeah. here to go straight in, and a door here to go straight in. So if this was four feet. So far, CARE has provided building materials or building materials and labor to over 160 families. Um, Mennonite Disaster Services has helped rebuild about 30 houses at this point in time, so over the course of the past six months. There are still today about 150 families who still have immediate need for repair and rebuilding assistance. In some cases, these are families living without roofs still, some living in tents, some only living without parts of their houses, um, like bedrooms and such, but a lot of uh, major damage still exists, and so uh, we count on the labor from Mennonite Disaster Services to help us make progress in this repair and rebuilding program. We're going to down the corner. More efficiency. We, we've been working out our, our efficiency so far, but now we've got a we've got a system down, and I think we'll get it down. And the time again is 20 minutes. Turn it here first. <laughs> Right now they're fixing my my room or my con semi concrete house where I live. Uh, temporarily I'm staying in my my concrete house right here in the living room. I'm sleeping in the living room. So I wanna try and go back and sleep peacefully in my room. Uh, three fourth of the roof is gone. Yes, uh, so it's been raining and so uh, so cold on my walls, my, my ceiling stop dropping off. Well, I've been blessed with so much that if I can give something back, I want to give it back. If I can help somebody else, I want to help them. We thought it was a once in a lifetime opportunity and it turned into a twice in a lifetime opportunity and hopefully we can come back again. 25 years. That's when we built our home, and we stayed in it for 25 years. After 25 years, that's when Sadler <laughs> destroyed it. Two, three. Okay, so I'm here with uh, a, a group of people working with Mennonite Disaster Service just uh, putting uh, houses together that we can and uh, know how and training young fellows. Yeah, just just to give service. Uh. Many hands made light work and all of a sudden it's starting to look like a house. All right. Yeah. What? Hey. <laughs> Push. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Minneapolis? Yeah, it's amazing the amount of work that these guys are doing and the fact that, uh, you know, in the spirit of, of volunteerism, you know, which uh, of course the American Red Cross and MDS, we all rely on volunteers and the fact that these, uh, these you know, skilled workers have taken time out of their lives to come out here and help on a remote island uh, like Saipan. Uh, it's just a, really a tribute to the dedication they have to helping improve people's lives. So we're so grateful to MDS and the entire team for, for making this recovery possible. Uh, our leader is uh, uh, Mr. Harold. Er and our foreman is uh, Walter, and the other two is Mark, and the dad is uh, uh, Phil uh, Tra Travis, and those three ladies, Joyce and Kelsey and Rosie, and Joyce. Uh,